Okay, uh, today I'm going to make a quick video about how to use uh, what's very new, like, and by new I mean this year, um, and didn't exist for now almost 20 years in exchange, but the idea that you can actually send emails from an alias. So typically, uh, historically with Exchange and Exchange Online, um, you'd have your primary user principal name and it's almost always your reply email as well, which would be your primary email account. So I am Sean at Walbridge, or Sean at rockstarantics.com. Um, in, with my primary account. And when I send emails from Exchange, that would always be my from address. I can have lots of inbound aliases. Um, I've got many, um, but you know, I can only send out as one. And for the longest time, you couldn't send out as others. And that was definitely in a scenario for shared mailboxes and all sorts of stuff. Um, there's different reasons why you don't want to send from aliases. Some of it was architecturally exchanged by design from years ago. Some of it has to do with spam and spoofing. Um, so it's not a great setting. And in fact, I'm not sitting here endorsing that anyone should be doing this on the regular. In fact, I, I generally would recommend you don't, but um, there are people that want to do this. So that's what I'm here to show today. So the idea is that on occasion, I want to have emails come into my mailbox. I actually am going to also uh, create a rule and a folder so that um, the alias emails can go into a folder. And then I'm going to show how you can reply to emails that went into that folder and actually send it uh, from now, which is now finally supported uh, from that alias. So we're going to talk quickly about how to turn that alias feature on and then how to use this. So let's go. So first off, um, hello Molly, oh, my dog's just decided right now to nudge my arm. Um, so this is my account. I just want to show that I have several accounts. Sean at rockstarantics.com, like I said, is my UPN, user principal name, my login and my email address. And then I have a bunch of other emails here. So uh, the one I'm going to use today is drummer at rockstar. So see, you can see it's a completely different domain name from Rockstar Antics, uh, completely different account. So that's the account I'm going to use. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, and this is already on, so I'm just showing you how and where it is. I'm going to go into the Exchange Admin Center. So this is a one-time setting that the administrator would make. They go into Settings, they go to Mail Flow, and then they choose Turn on Sending from Aliases. I don't know how long this setting takes to activate. Um, I did it uh, for this demo only less than an hour ago, and it worked um, when I started testing. So. I'd say it's, it's safe to say that it works fairly quickly, but don't expect in seconds. Uh, the idea of a Microsoft Minute while they do stuff in the background with their scripts and service layer stuff, um, I give yourself up to an hour before expecting this to truly work, I would say. So now I can send from aliases. So the next thing is I'm gonna open my mail, right? So here I am in my mailbox, which I'll just filter out there. So. Um, I want to set a rule. I want to create a folder um, because I want mails that come into drummer at rockstarnights.ca to go to a certain place. So I can just call this uh, drummer emails. Okay, so I've got my folder. So next up, I'm going to create a rule. Now you can do rules in your traditional Outlook client. I'm not here to endorse that because I don't think anyone should be using it at all anymore. It's a fool's errand, but uh, trust that you can make rules in the Outlook client as well. And I, I am not going to show how to make a rule there. <laughs> just out of principle. Um, so these are gonna be drummer emails. Uh, the condition is uh, messages to drummer at rockstarnights.ca. So that's where I want them to go, or that's who, what I'm looking for is emails that go to that address, so not just to me. And then I wanna move them to that drummer emails folder. So I'll save that. Um, so that rule is set. So let's go test it. Let's go to, um, this is now my Gmail account. In fact, the only reason I use, G use Gmail anymore uh, at all is for testing other email systems because uh, I really don't care for it. But uh, so I'm gonna send an email to drummer at Rockstar Nights and I've sent one before to test this. So that's why that's already in my clipboard. Uh, testing of drummer emails, testing one, two, three. So I'm sending an email from the outside world to drummer at rockstarnights.ca. Historically, that would have gone into my mailbox, right into my um, main folder there, um, and would have um, stayed there. Um, but in fact, now because I've set that up, the drummer email should arrive here. Sure enough, there it is, ta-da. So this email is in my mailbox. I am Sean at rockstarantics.com, uh, that's my primary email. But in this case, I wanna to reply to this email using the send as alias function. So what I'm gonna do is go to reply. I then need to show the from address and um, it's from Sean at Rockstar Antics. I actually want to send it from Sean, no, sorry, drummer at rockstarnights.ca. So this would never work normally. It'll actually give you this option all the time. Oh, it's not dumber. That's why it doesn't know what it is. Hang on a second. Ah, 
try that again. Drummer at rockstarnights.ca. So that's a legit email, so it's happier about that. And uh, test back. And again, this would not work. The from address thing will be there. You can actually choose it. It just won't do anything unless you've turned on that allow sending as aliases. So I'm gonna send back. I'm gonna go back into my Gmail just to confirm it gets there. And sure enough, there it is. And it actually came from drummer at rockstarnights.ca. Without that alias thing, without doing that from address thing, it would have still said, hey, it's from Sean at rockstarantics.com. So uh, hopefully that helps someone. Um, this this tip will probably uh, help a lot of people. This is a fairly new function. People have been asking for a long time. I don't think it's a solution to everything. Um, in fact, I would strongly suggest uh, against using it too often. Um, it's not. It's meant to cure a couple of scenarios, not all things, not all ills. With that, have a great day. See you. Bye.